What's up guys? This is the Brave Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to run off of our last time, um, I don't really remember much of the grand scheme of things, but we do know we're trying to push the Ottomans out from our rear areas after taking Istanbul. So without further ado, let's crack on. So this may well be the turn that I move on Naples and secure it. Uh, the, the force I'm creating to take Naples is this is a force that I want to send to Sicily and I want to send it to Corsica and Sardinia so they're going to get a bit of a bit of a workout and expand our new empire but before we get too ahead of ourselves let us build our force to take down these Ottomans so let's deploy our artillery on some higher ground. My force is a bit attrited, but that in itself is not a major problem. Is there like a something annoying stuck in the way? Okay, let's do that. Let's group our expats and two, actually maybe all of our marines on the left. Even though there's not that many of them, they will advance. Group. Maybe group our two weakest cavalry together. Then our Hussars can stay as a strong unit on the flank, general in the centre. No, oh, I'm not going to have tricksy mouse problems. Hussars go after the Mamelukes. General maybe move to intercept. But these guys can do something like this. We can move our cavalry up. And let's go check out our. Okay, they are winning, which is a bit concerning. They're winning a lot. So we're going to send in some infantry to help out. And we're also probably... Oh, that's not good at all. We're losing a lot of men. And I don't know what the hell my infantry are doing. Some of them got knocked over by my cavalry, but does not explain why they were changing the completely wrong direction. Let's run my infantry, because it looks like things are all going to kick off faster than I'd like. Send Union of Marines to anchor the flank near these Janissaries. The rest of you guys run up the flank. Okay, let's pull my generals. Still safe, technically. The Hussars got absolute hammering against the Mamelukes. So, so let's pull them out of there main battle lines have been joined Armenian archers okay, let's try something a bit dirty let's see get our infantry to, to form square let's get our general out of here let's have two unit pound that unit of janissaries on the flank Rather up to a unit can go hit the Zamandari horseman in the flank or in the rear. They've decided to commit their horsemen to a certain degree. Just run everyone away, away from these. Janissaries. The moment who's going to chase them down. Okay, deploy them into square. To destroy the semi Janissaries. Let's push these guys. Maybe push them in. Charge our uh, Janissaries with our cavalry. I don't know what problem my infantry have with 
actually doing stuff. How many generals been killed? Let's take my infantry and do something a bit more specific. While I get my cavalry to start. Do you know what? Why are these guys forming up into a giant column? There we go. Janissaries have fallen. Fall back our line. Our poor, weakened Hussars can take great delight in chopping them down. All of our artillery focus on... Oh, there's some artillery horsemen around too. Too bad you guys fired your shot. Ah, they got counter charged by the Zamadori Horsemen, so let's get my general out of there. To be fair, they have got destroyed. Get the archers with my spare cavalry. Let's get my general back into the action. Chasing down the Janissaries. Redirect my artillery and Janissary Musketeers in the centre. The gunners are over here. Can you guys run down the archers? My general to chase down one of these Janissaries. And there we go, that's everyone I think. Let's speed up time. Ah, the horsemen are back. Determined to try break this square. And it might work. It probably will actually. So let's bring these guys in. Still in the square. Probably some friendly fire artillery coming in. Let's halt fire. Now the square's broken. Let's just keep my cavalry occupied while they chase down the raiders. So it was a shame we lost that unit of Hussars. But we live and learn. You guys are going to rout because you spread out. Or you're going to successfully leave the field. So we want to chase down this unit of Janissary Musketeers because they're more together. We're still chasing down these archers. Let's keep check to make sure everyone's kept busy. You guys chase down those Janissaries. You are going to kill those archers, that's nice. Those are ours, they're going to escape, so... You may as well chase down these Janissaries with my general. Come on, charge him down. And then everyone work on cutting up this last unit of Janissaries. Awesome. Now I'll teach them. This army is in dire need of some reinforcement though, so even though... Ooh, okay, I need to cancel building this church school. Unfortunate, but these guys are just going to raid it otherwise. These men won't be able to catch up. They're going to reinforce and push west. Actually it's too, actually, it's too bad I reinforced them. Let's try to get that cash I can't get the cash back sadly can't rebuild the mosque can't rebuild the porte nothing else will really help so I suppose I can't really build garrison guards spend the money reinforcing the guys inside the city to hopefully try and deal with the public order problems and down here in Naples well you guys can actually take the city because we've already fought them. 
so the city's back under our control and it's giving us their cash so we are going to want to hit Corsica to knock the Genoans out of the war and we're also going to want to hit Cagliari to take this Spanish foothold and then we may end up wanting to push west directly into the Spanish territories although we are still at war with Poland we need to keep an eye on them but we do want to make gains in the Balkans down here so Greece does not have a church school, but it does have a priest. So they're slowly converting the population to our side. Our research and tech is going well. You're upgrading the reorganised procurement. You're cracking on with the rights of man, although I might actually prefer you to do wealth of nations. To get the massive economy boosts you can get. Growth in trade is really good. Plus 8 per ton wealth is really good. Plus 6% wealth generated by all buildings is great. So let's hit and turn. <laughs> Unlike my other campaign, the Ottoman end, end turn shouldn't be a massive problem because we are fighting them. And it looks like we might have lost the United Provinces because France has just captured their capital. <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. August refuse and we're back in the ball game so as far as I could see they the Ottomans tried to steal more technology from us and they also attempted to well they're moving more forces towards um, Istanbul to attempt to raid and potentially recapture their lands especially because they're very unhappy with us Okay, let's. Ah, oh, we can't repair it, even though we should have been getting more cash. So, what do we want to do with the limited cash that we've got? Maybe rebuild the governor's palace in Naples. And that's going to, in fact, take most of it. How much does it actually cost? Two and a half grand. Maybe we don't repair... Well, it makes a lot of sense. We don't repair this boy here, so we can rebuild the Hypote here. And I might even... No, I don't want to knock that down. It, gets, it gives us too much happiness. I'm not going to fix... Can we fix this meager yield farm? Because I'm going to move this army to intercept this... I'm going to water is of that, because that's just a, the remnants of what we fought last time. We have no cash to really reinforce. We can make this army gain two more soldiers. So we know they're going to be on the way. There's going to be some Ottoman rebels. The navy is going to stay here for now until Istanbul balances itself back out. So they've rioted, which doesn't help. Is the actual empire, not rebels. Hmm. It's tempting to move my agent out now. Or at least top him up to the border. So you can start trying to reduce religious unrest. It'll take him a few turns, so it won't be immediately helpful to us. Yeah, right now we are limited by cash. That's the position we're in at the moment, because I would like to do lots of stuff with this army, but I as yet do not have the funds. Okay. So I'm going to cut the recording and bring you guys back at the start of the next turn. So see you in a second, everyone. Hmm. The Ottomans' only real contribution is to slowly build an army to retake Istanbul. I'm sure if the Spanish have pushed in to try and raid some of our territories from a very odd direction. Ooh, the Croatian rebels exist. Does that mean 
The Ochre Confederacy is no more. Although Louisiana's rebelled. It would be cool to get over there to be involved in some of this. But we have more immediate matters. So there's the there's the um the rebels, but they're not much of a concern. Okay, so let's spend this money firstly rebuilding the mosque, which is gonna take most of it. Probably spend a whole bunch rebuilding this army because they're about to be under siege. Signore. You guys need to hunker down. Somewhere safe. Yeah, I've not done anything with my policies, but to be honest, I think everything's. You know, I've got to a point in the campaign where my my research and development's actually doing most of it for me. So we did get reorganized procurement. I mean, yeah, they may as well research wedge because it's only one turn and gains regain command stars for leading cavalry. But I do need to build an army board. board. Although I don't actually have some place that don't even have drill schools. Well, they don't even have military academies. But Verona's still getting on with the wealth of nations. And Bologna. I mean, you can't yet be a modern university. You yet can't be useful because we don't have enough cash because the priority is over here. Yeah, I'm not going to tax you yet. What I want to do is clear out this area, build a church school so I can move this priest back and then threaten um, Sarajevo, Belgrade, threaten Sofia. Bit of a weird frame rate drop there. Rebellion and Romelia, yep. But if they attack us they'll be destroyed because these guys are nothing compared to our garrison forces. Sweet. I don't think I'm going to cut the parts out now because the the Ottoman intern was pretty quick. So there's not been any real real advancements. Well, it might be wise to maybe knock down the upper class um, tax policy in order to get my economic growth up. Nope. Radio. So all that really happened is the Ottoman stack kind of gathered in uh, near Istanbul. They raided and then they fell back to their border. The actual rebels haven't attacked us. Which is odd. Really? That's going to be what? This Polish Navy unit is going to be what's going to be it's what's going to cause our downfall. We are supposedly bankrupt because we lost the trade. A couple of good trade re trade nodes. But I may knock down tax levels by one in both regions. In order to A, spur growth, and B, spur um, town growth. But one thing I'm definitely going to need to do is take this navy over here and hopefully try and capture as many. Well, say hopefully. There's only one ship I really want. But let's go take these Polish navy ships. And it does highlight we do need more than one navy. Because now technically that leaves uh, Istanbul open to attack from the Ottoman homeland. But I doubt it's a massive problem. I'm going to be almost, I'm going to be almost at right angles to them. Let's make sure we're not actually. It's got to be slightly more like that. Or if anything, a bit more, a bit more like. To be just, if anything, just a bit into the wind slightly at an angle. So let's scoot forward. So we've got lots of sixth rates, which we don't really care about. The fifth rate would be nice, but the main thing about capturing them is they either get cash for capturing enemy naval vessels, but it also denies them to the Poles. 
So I'm not so I'm not bothered about taking these sick crates into my fleet. It's more about well, providing me cash and providing the Ottomans with not the Ottomans, the Poles with nothing. Although they are they are gunning it. This sixth rate is going to successfully get past our front front gun line. Same with this sixth rate, probably. But this fifth rate is going to get it. So they might get some good shots into the stern of our fourths, but not enough. This ship may even... Okay, I'm only speeding up till we get to, like, actual battle time. Get these guys firing. Get this guy firing round shot. Not round shot. Chain shot. Ideally, I'd like him to get to try to have got through this gap, but he's not playing ball. But his right guns are going to fire to the back of this six rate, which is going to be to our advantage. Let's just slow them down a tad. And we're also going to fire some into the fifth rate. You are now going to fire chain uh, round shot. You're going to be broadsiding. And the rest of you guys are going to be now ungrouped. I'm just going to make your way along. You're going to have to slowly turn into into the wind. Let's go to try and knock some mass off the fifth rate. So these sick rates, they can be dealt with by random gunnery. You drop anchor to block the fifth. You, mountain of gold. You can sit there and repeatedly put broadsides into our enemy ship. Do you cut their line? These guys will continue to t pick apart the sixth rates. You might have broadside. I still want you all to try broadside, although this one. Got a handful of guns left, I might actually. Yes. Bang! Pivot around a bit more. You fired chain shot to instead. Okay, I'll have to, I can't manage all these. Boom. Right, then I want you guys to get your right inside broadside ready. You keep turning and fire. And you yourself to also not flee, but pivot to be in a more advantageous position. More of you chaps. Just go in a general direction so I can try and, so I can try and manage what you're doing. Pivot this ship around to try and get some good shots into this sloop, although it is just a sloop, so I don't have massive, massive uh, amounts of confidence. It's probably going to be the best for now. Oh damn, it's firing chain shots. Okay, all of you guys go more down here. You pivot to try to get your guns to bear. You probably have to turn left. You keep going straight ahead.
Good. Mm, surrendered. Everyone else say along. We've got one uh, ship back here, which is fortunately in a bit of an annoying position to do some damage to my fifth raids. the action. If you guys keep your just about got your broadside intact. Sixth ray is surrendered. Let's get your broadside reloaded. So we're gonna just drop anchor and just fire a well into Neop Neop Lodge 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 Lodge. Something or other that I cannot pronounce. Touch of clubbing baby seals around about this, I think. Let's follow your part side off, just for the fun. Lining up a good broadside onto the sixth rate. didn't. Instead you hold sail and yes. Kind of run. Full sail. And let's take out this last sick rate. I'm just going to watch the uh, shots go in here. I'm hoping Costanza can at least get some good get some good chain shots on the target just to start knocking out some sails even if it's just to slow them down a little bit same with you actually that's what you might do You just keep her. Uh... Can you guys just drop your round shot or drop anchor? Get rid of fire round shot. This ship's about to be boarded anyway. Lots of friendly fire there from Katie Chaddy. Hell of a turn by Fidelta. Let's just switch to grape shot because you're so close. You're so close and your deck is relatively unprotected. Grape shot's usually not super useful. You may as well just fire the heck out of them with a round shot. Damn right it was decisive. But this is... Yeah, it's kind of reaffirmed in my head that we do need two navies, but ideally... No, we didn't get the fifth. I will take all of your money, please. Pronta, pronta. Then let's put you guys in for repairs. Good stuff. 
So we're not freed up. Why are we? Why are we now making so little? Do we need to keep that up to maintain? Yeah, I do. I can't drop my tax income at all. But it doesn't mean... I was about to say, it doesn't mean I can't drop my um, lower class taxes, but at the same time I've not got enough money to build all the buildings up I currently have. So that's not a, that's not a massive problem itself. Let's push up. Just want to slowly put the squeeze on this army. You guys can just attack the rebels that are next to you. Cool, we should not have lost 900 men. You take them out. Slightly fewer men lost, but that should mean this area is now pretty happy and we can tax them. Which I consider a win. Um, looking at looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry, nothing much may just happened. Um, I think we've just got a problem uh, with cash flow, but that could be starting to ease up. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.